Hello everyone, my name is Shazeb Hamid and welcome to AI Sciences. Today we are going to develop an algorithm with the help of which we can do heart disease prediction using KNN, right? So for that the first libraries that I am going to import are NumPy and Pandas. So for that let's write import NumPy as NP and import Pandas, Pandas as PD, right? So after that, uh, let's import the data set. Let's actually enter with shift, right? And then let's import the data set. The data set is available in the same folder in heart underscore CSV. So let's see that. So let's write heart and uh, uh, dot CSV, right? So let's run this and now let's see the shape of our data frame so for that we have to write df dot shape and this is the shape of our data frame now what we can do is we can actually check out the head of our data frame so for that we'll write df dot head so let's see how its head looks like so these are all the uh, things that are available in this data set these are all of course related to the heart disease prediction right so this is sex this is age and this uh, uh, this is maybe cholesterol right and this is slope and this is uh, you know these are all the things that are available right and these are the targets what does this mean these are the targets that are available to us right so now what is the next step the next step is actually to check out if there is any null value available in our data set right so for that uh, we can just write out df dot is null right and after that i'll write dot any so it will show me if there is a uh, null or not so as you can see all of these are false it means that there is no null value present in our data set right so after this what i would like to do is I would like to perform a little bit of data visualization right so for that the first thing you need to do is you need to import matplotlib right so let's write import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt as well as uh, you know uh, let's get matplotlib inline so for that I'll write matplotlib space inline and after that I'll also import seaborn so let's import seaborn as sns of course if you do not have any of these libraries what you can do is you can just do a pip install very quickly right now let's plot the figure for that i'll first write fig is equal to plt dot figure let's write that so plt dot figure and in this i'm going to write a fig size so let's uh, you know put the fig size equal to 15 cross 15 so 15 comma 15 right so another one is uh, you know axis right so let's get the axis equal to gca right and after that in the next step i am going to make uh, you know sure that there is a histogram there so for that let's write g is equal to df dot hist and x is equal to x is so let's run this so there we go these are all the histograms of all the uh, you know variables that were present in our data set so this is the first one age then sex right and then cp and then this one this one this one all of these are available to us right and there is one important thing that we can see in all of this processing right so let me show you that so if you look at sex it has either value 1 or 0 in the same way cp also has value 3 to 1 0 right and if you talk about fbs it is the same scenario with that and uh, rdste cg has the same value as well i don't know what that means exchange has the same value as well right then slope and then ca and then thl so what do we want to do here we want to make sure that these values are variable right 
However, in this case, these are linear relationships, right? So when we put them into the algorithm, just like they are, then uh, you know there will be a problem uh, that the algorithm might think that zero is the lower value and one is the higher value. However, when we are talking about that, it is not like that. It is uh, zero or one is for male and female, right? So this is not high and low, right? Uh, but this mistake can be made by our uh, you know algorithm, right? So for that, what we need to do is we need to make uh, you know uh, dummy variables of these columns so let's do that let's actually write data set is equal to pd dot get underscore dummies right so dummies and later i am going to tell it that uh, i am going to take this data frame as input and what are the columns i have already taken it out and i have also told you what are the columns so let me just copy them and we'll have a discussion of them right now so these are all the columns right sex cp fbs all of these uh, were you know linear values right so let's make dummies of them okay so maybe there is one extra round bracket let's run this and now let's see data set dot columns so these are all the columns that are available in our data set as you can see sex is divided into two columns now sex 0 sex 1 and cp is divided into four columns because it had value 0 1 2 3 fbs is divided into two columns and uh, so on and so forth right this is divided into five columns actually right now they have uh, uh, low and high values and they can be taken as low and high values so what is the next step the next step is actually to perform some scaling on some of these columns right so which columns do we want to scale uh, let's go back here right so the first column that we want to scale is age the second column that we want to scale is trust bps right so that uh, they are between 0 and 1 something like that right uh, or not even 0 to 1 then uh, between the range that others are in and in the same way there is cholesterol then this one right and at the end old peak so we are going to scale all of these columns with the help of standard scaler which is available in skitlearn so for that we'll write sklearn dot pre processing right we will import standard scaler after that what i'll do is i'll write standard scaler is equal to standard scalar right so that it is saved into uh, this stand scalar right and then i'll tell it which columns uh, should you scale so for that i'll write columns to scale and this is equal to all of the columns that we discussed right now so let's copy this let's paste that here and after that what we will do is we will actually change those columns right so let's change them right here i'll write columns to scale in data set is equal to stand stand scalar dot fit and after that underscore transform so that we are able to perform the transformation and in this i am going to give in the data set of the columns that we want to scale right so uh, the columns will be taken uh, you know from the data set and they will be scaled and then uh, the, the those values will be exchanged so this is what will be happening right here after that we can just write data set dot head right and it will show us that these are all scaled right now as you might know the target is the uh, you know output so let's drop the target from this data set so for that first uh, before building the model let's write x is equal to data set dot drop right data set dot drop and here we'll write target and then we'll write uh, let's delete the whole column so x is equal to 1 
and later we are going to write y is equal to data set and here i will be writing target so target target will be in y and all of the other things will be in x right so now that we have done this let's start importing our uh, libraries right so the first library that we need is k numbers classifier and the second library is cross validation score so let's do that both of them are available in sklearn so for that let's write from sklearn dot n e i g h uh, b o r s neighbors right import uh, after that i'll write k maybe it's bigger right k neighbors after that i'll write classifier classifier and the second one is uh, i need some validation score which is available in model selection so from sklearn dot model underscore selection i will import cross value score score so let's import both of them now that we have done this what is the next step so then the next step is actually to find out the knn scores so for that let's initialize knn scores is equal to zero first of all or empty right and then let's make a for loop so for i in range let's use multiple type of classifiers right uh, 1 2 21 and uh, let's make one classifier at a time so for that we'll write knn classifier is equal to k n e i g h b o r s neighbors after that i'll write a classifier so classifier right and n underscore neighbors equal to i right so first time there will be one neighbor then two then three and all of that right then let's write the scores so the scores are actually equal to cross underscore validation underscore score right and here i'll write canon plus c fire and then i'll write x and then i'll write y and then cv is equal to 10 and at the end i'll enter the scores into canon scores which is empty above right so canon scores dot append and here i will enter it with round of values of cvs score mean so cvs underscore scores dot mean right and later i'll write three here comma three so let's run this and after that what is the next step the next step is actually to plot all of them so for plotting i have already written out a code using matplotlib so let me just bring it out and uh, write it here right and let's run this and there we go so these are all the classifiers that are available to us right so and uh, there are efficiencies or, or of all of these classifiers also available right so they have multiple type of uh, neighbors right for example uh, you know with these neighbors 10 neighbors or something like nine neighbors we have a very good accuracy right so in the same way with 12 neighbors we have a very good accuracy as well so it's actually the most probable uh, you know chances of uh, checking out the heart disease right so let me repeat it uh, we have uh, developed a knn based heart disease prediction mechanism and our maximum accuracy is 8.4 uh, 84.5 uh, something like that right so how do we calculate it we actually took the value of x as the uh, this part of data set all of the other right and target as y and then we try to predict y with the help of complete x right 
with the help of KNN classifier and CVS score. So it is very much easy. And here, what I did was only I plotted all of this, right? So, so this is it. This is how you can develop heart disease prediction algorithm with the help of KNN, right? And uh, as you can see, it is a very good looking mechanism and it is giving us up to 85% accuracy. So if you want to keep on watching videos related to machine learning, keep on watching AI Sciences. Thank <music> you.